How you doing? What I'm doing today is I'm gonna replace this personal paste cable in the 6.5 Toro. So basically, when I push it, nothing happens. The cable broke on top of it. Uh, my cable broke on the top there. Um, you can use a 7.16 to remove this nut. This is the, it holds the cable in place and it's a place to adjust it. So I'm gonna slide that out or get that out somehow. You're gonna wanna pop that cap out and that way you can move the cable over this way into that hole and pull it out. Or push it in. There. That way you can pull it out of this hole. On my other video, I have a clutched mower and there was another cable in here. I had to slide the second cable in through this one and then I can slide this out of there. Then what you wanna do is tip over your mower so the car rider is facing upwards. This is where it connects on right here. Now the spring is right on this uh, lever for the transmission here this spring is very difficult to get off um, you're gonna have to like use a small needle nose pliers or a vice grip like I have and try to bend it off also on my other mower I had a bar that was a cross frame that uh, helped support it now that I got that spring off I'm gonna pull it through the top of the deck and feed my new one through. This is absolutely the hardest part because you have to angle the spring down in order to get the loop over the hook. So like I said, it's gotta go kind of like this, but in there, that way you can get this hook in there. That's why I recommend a needle nose vice grips to clamp it on there and get some leverage. Okay, so I kinda got the tip of the spring in there. It's just, really hard fighting that spring in there because of the angle well i was able to get the spring on it it was actually easier for me to do it by finger so i fought it for about 20 minutes then you want to flip it over clamp that back in stick that in the hole find your cap stick your cap back in run that through and then back up to the top Put your bracket back on. You're gonna wanna put it through the wire and then slide it down here. Now put it on there ever so good, but don't tighten it up too much yet because you're gonna want to adjust it. Remember, just make it snug. So don't tighten this in there because that's how you adjust your cable. So when you're adjusting your cable, pull it down until your motor starts moving because you don't want it moving when you don't have this engaged. So that should do it. Video worked. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe or like. I have other repairs on this motor. Thank you very much. Bye.